Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, check out this exercise. We need to find the shaded area, that is, the area of these four squares. Let's do it. Notice that all these figures are squares. Very well. Taking that into account, well, this angle here is going to be 90 degrees. Let's call this angle here angle beta, and this angle here, let's call it angle alpha. Very well. You will agree with me that this angle here is also going to be 90 degrees because it is the angle of this square here. Very well. If I have 90 here and I have beta, what angle do I need to complete the 180 degrees? Well, I need alpha. So this angle is going to be angle alpha. Here, I'll also have 90 degrees. Since I have 90 here and alpha there, this angle here has to be beta. Excellent. Now, the sides of these squares that we have in blue, let's call them C. So, I would have C here, C, C, and C. Very well. And this side here would also be C. Now, the sides of this small triangle here, I'll call it A. This side and this side I'll call B. From here to here. Now, pay close attention to these two triangles. To this large triangle and to this small triangle. They are similar triangles because they have the same angles. 90, alpha, beta, 90, alpha, and beta. Very well. Then pay attention. This hypotenuse here of this large triangle would be C plus C plus C plus C. In other words, the entire hypotenuse is 4 times C. Very well. What this means is that this large triangle is 4 times bigger than this small triangle. Because notice, the hypotenuse of the small triangle is C and the hypotenuse of the large triangle is 4 times C. Therefore, this side that connects 90 with beta, which is A, and here I have 90 with beta, this is going to be 4 times A, because it is 4 times larger than this triangle. And this side is going to be 4 times B. Fantastic. Once we have everything labeled, let's note down what we have here. Look, all sides of the square must be 4 times B. Therefore, 14 atas was atas C. 4 times B is going to be equal to what? It is going to be equal to this side here. But this side here is B plus 4 times A. Let's write it down. B plus 4A. Very good. And here we can solve for A. Moving the B to the other side to subtract, we have 4B minus B. This B moved to subtract, and we have 4A here. 4B minus B gives us 3B, and this is equal to 4A. Moving the 4 to the other side to divide, we have that A is equal to 3B over 4. Fantastic. We have already obtained the value of A in terms of B. Now, notice that 4B is also equal to this side here. And this side here would be 13 plus A. So here, we have 13 plus A. Very well, let's replace this value here. We have 4B, which is going to be equal to 13 plus A. But A is what this here. 3B over 4. Very good. So to simplify this 4, we are going to multiply the entire equation by 4. So 4 times 4B gives me 16B. Very well. 4 times 13 gives us 52. So we have 52 here. And 4 times 3B over 4 simplifies the 4 with the 4, leaving me with 3B. Very well. Then we move this 3B to the left side. We have 16B minus 3B, which is equal to 52. 16B minus 3B gives us 13B, and this is equal to 52. Moving to divide this 13 to the other side, we have that B is equal to 52 divided by 13. And remember, a moment ago, we multiplied 13 by 4 and got 52. So 52 divided by 13, ladies and gentlemen, B is 4. Fantastic. We have already obtained one of the values of this triangle here. Very well. And now with this value, I can also find A using this equation here. So we have that A is equal to 3 times 4 because it is 3 times B over 4. Simplifying this 4 with this 4, I get that A is equal to 3. Beautiful. We already have the value of A and B. But notice that I am not going to apply this in the small triangle but in the large triangle. Let's do it. So we're going to apply the powerful Pythagorean theorem. Here, we have that the hypotenuse squared, 4C squared, is equal to the sum of the squares of the two legs. Here, I have a leg that would be, let's put it in parentheses, 
4 squared plus the other leg, which is 4b squared. Very well. And here we'll replace a with 3. So we'll put 3 here. And b with 4. So we'll put 4 here. Very well. Then we have 4c squared, which is 16c squared. This is equal to 4 squared, which is 16. 3 squared, which is 9. It's plus 4 squared, which is 16. And the other 4 squared is also 16. How about we divide everything by 4? Okay, so here 16c squared divided by 4 gives me 4c squared. Alright, here 16 divided by 4 gives me 4. 4 times 9. Then here 16 divided by 4 gives us 4, 4 times 16. 4 times 9 is 36. 4 times 16 is 64. And we have obtained, ladies and gentlemen, by Pythagoras' beard, that 4c squared is equal to 100. 100 square units, because this is already the solution to our exercise. Notice, that's sisima sisila, c, because what we wanted to find was the area of these four squares, since their side is c. Each square has an area of c squared, and since there are four squares, it would be 4c squared, then checkmate. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like, and we'll see you in another class. Bye-bye.